Hello everyone, my name is Chance Brunton, welcome to StarCraft II Legacy of the Void, the third part in this epic trilogy, and the conclusion. It has been a long time coming, it's been a long road, we played the first and the second games in StarCraft II, and it was glorious, and now we get to see what becomes of it. We will be joining the Protoss, trying to avert the end of all the things. The swarm brought ruin to our world. Oh. Our proud people became refugees. I was there! And yet, they could not shatter our unity. For we are bound by the Kala, the sacred union of our every thought and emotion. When could they do that? This is some really impressive stuff that we have not seen before. Are those... What are those? Are those just supposed to be zealots or are those guys Templar? I'm not sure exactly what those guys are. Oh no, they're Templar. They're definitely Templar, those guys. Now they're becoming an Archon. Who would win an Ultralisk against an... against an Archon? I'm not sure. Oh, you are screwed. You are definitely gonna die. Or reinforcements? Today we retake our home world. Oh, that's what the probe was doing. It was warping in. Our legacy. Now I understand. That probe wasn't using some kind of awesome attack. It was warping in a pylon for reinforcements. It all makes sense. So this is following on to the um, prologue missions. And if you have seen those, you, and if you've been following the series, you should have some idea how Protoss work. Um, but I'll try to explain it a little bit anyway. Just the basics. Legacy of the Void. A great evil looms over the galaxy. The dark god, Amon, has returned, spurred on by Zeratul's prophecies. Kerrigan and her swarm set out to destroy Amon's hybrid forces, hoping to stop the coming Oblivion. With the threat of the Zerg Queen absent, the Protoss Hierarch, Artanis, raised a massive invasion fleet, left the Dark Templar world of Shakuras, and committed to restore his people's former glory by reclaiming their lost homeworld of ire. Which we saw fall in the original StarCraft campaign. James Raynor was there. Phoenix, great Protoss hero, died there. And then, well, no, actually, wait. He got mortally wounded and then put inside of a robot body. That kept him alive a little longer, and then he died later. But Templar, at long last, we stand at the threshold of destiny. For today, we will restore the glory of our legacy. Today, we will retake what we have lost and reclaim our homeworld. 
And may the Kala's light guide us. The invasion fleet stands ready. We await only your command, Hierarch. You must halt this invasion at once. Zeratul? Templar! Arrest this traitor! No! We will hear him out. Thank you, Artanis. The end war has come. Amon, the Dark One, has returned. This heretic cannot be trusted. This invasion is a distraction from the true battle ahead. Amon's fury will engulf the entire galaxy. Do not forget that it was his interference that brought ruin to ire. And that burden weighs heavily upon me. Artanis, I have found a way to stand against the coming darkness. You must believe me. They were close friends. We have been through much together, Zeratul. But far too many have sacrificed in the hopes that this moment would come to pass. Executor, commence the invasion. This is a mistake. Really impressive execution. I guess the only thing for it now is to just invade and be done with it so quickly that we can turn around and fight Amon. If we must invade. Oh! And the game glitched! Okay, is it gonna happen again? Can I skip this, actually? Okay! I just skipped that opening little bit so that it wouldn't crash. I also turned my graphics settings down. Warriors, ire awaits you. March forth and take it. Our cannon shall sing. I'm used. Uh, Blizzard games don't normally do that, but this is launch day, and so it's to be expected that there might be some bugs uh, and some other problems that need to be ironed out. I mean, it's a big project and all. I have diverted some Colossi to join your forces. Use them well, Artanis. Oh, that won't be difficult. Colossi are very powerful and very helpful. So, the main building blocks of the Protoss army are the Zealots, who are these guys running up front ahead of everybody else. They are melee attackers, who are basically cannon fodder. Uh, they also do, they do, a bit of, they do quite a bit of damage, too. Uh, but their main reason for being there is to just get up in the enemy's face so that, um, the enemy can't get to you so easily. Behind them stand the Stalkers, who are weaker and fire from a distance. And they're the blue... Well, everybody's kind of blue. Our team color is blue, but they're even bluer. There is a Zerg hive cluster near your warriors. If possible, <clears throat> you should destroy it. I'm working on it, Solendus. Um, and uh, with them are the Immortals. Immortals are the bright gold but little guys. Uh, well medium, the zealots of the little guys. And uh, immortals do lots of damage to heavy things and can take a lot of damage from things with heavy attacks like tanks. Well fought, my warriors. Let us return our focus to reclaiming the warp conduit. The tall things uh, are the colossi, which do massive area of effect damage to things in front of them. Um, Shortened typically to AOE. And uh, together, they form a Protoss Death Ball, uh, which can just roll down the map and kill everything. Right now, it's just kind of A move to win. Just press A for attack, click somewhere, and the army just walks off and kills everything, and you win. Uh, it will probably get harder later on. Do I need to be keeping a special eye out to make sure I don't miss? Any optional Zerg hives? Whoa! What's that noise? Is there a Nidus Worm coming? There was a noise somewhere. He shall be. Solendus, the conduit is ours. Warp down reinforcements. As you command. Two warp conduits remain in the grip of the Zerg. Ready yourselves, brethren. We move for victory. Alright, so now we have a bunch of extra units, and 
immediately walk them right into a wall. Uh, some control on my part. On the uh, mini map in the lower left hand corner. There are more hides in the surrounding area. Destroying them would deal the Zerg a crippling blow. Way ahead of you. Um, in the lower left hand corner, there's a mini map, and there are lots of glowing markers on it. The green ones indicate where we need to go. The yellow ones indicate the optional place we want to go, and uh, this is this is another yellow one. It looked white to me a moment ago. A hive, warriors annihilate it. We strike as one. A couple of important things I should mention that I forgot about these units are their special abilities. Um, the zealot's special ability is to just charge forward in the battle. Hive cluster has fallen. Continue on, brothers. The Stalker's special ability is that it can do a short distance teleport, known as Blink. The Immortal's special ability is that it activates that sh it activates a shield, which absorbs extra damage. That's that's how it can survive tanks and things very well, aside from just doing massive damage to them. Um, and then the Colossus, they're normal. Thank you for your aid. Allow us to join you in battle. Yes, of course you may join us. All the more the merrier. Um, the Colossus' special ability is being Colossi. Uh, just, they are awesome all by themselves, they don't need a special ability. Just look at that range! Um, and the damage they do is phenomenal against the enemy forces here. So, uh, that, that's, they're just useful to have anyway. The Stalkers require a little bit more skill, because you gotta teleport them around to keep them out of harm's way. Um, and the Immortals have auto-casting for this barrier, which means they can, they can figure out to do it themselves rather than needing you to tell them when to use the barrier. So... The second warp conduit is activating now. Everything other than the Stalkers can work out what to do with themselves. Alright, we've got some more reinforcements with us. And ooh, oh, there's a bridge down here. Where does this bridge go? Optional objective. There's a yellow marker on the map down here. Looks like it. All right, let's go down here and let's destroy this hive. Artanis, this brood is coordinated. Their actions are intelligent beyond Feral Zerg. You speak truly, Zeratul. An unseen hand moves them. We must be on guard. I'm not surprised. The whole last campaign, we were trying to get the Zerg coordinated and working together. It's like the first mission we tried to take the Zerg down. Yeah, this is the first campaign. The second campaign we tried to bring the Zerg back up. And now the third campaign, at least for the beginning of it, we're gonna be trying to tear the Zerg back down. <laughs> it's ridiculous. We keep doing things and then undoing them. Another hive lies in ruins. Only one remains, my warriors. Alright, and that one should be a little bit more on our path on the way to the next Warp Conduit. Now, in the previous games, completing the bonus objectives usually gave you rewards that would be helpful later on down the line. It makes no mention of any rewards right now, but perhaps in future levels, there will be rewards. Alright, so we have our Stalkers at the front of our army. That's a bad thing, because they are not supposed to absorb any damage. They are quite, quite weak. I would have blinked them back to safety, except that that would have left the Colossi exposed. And they're even more expensive, so we don't want to do that. The final hive has fallen. Let this be the first victory of many. I will be restored. But ideally, we should keep these zealots at the front of the army, so I need to be a little bit better about keeping on top of them and telling them to do that. Where... I, I'm starting to get confused. Where is the way forward? For the reckoning. Hang on. Let's look down at the map here. Ah, uh, it's this ramp. Okay, so we need to come down here a little bit. I actually walked right past the correct route twice uh, to go to the bonus objectives. That that was stupid. Well, ooh, there's, a, there's an actual queen. Like an original Zerg queen over there from StarCraft 1. That's cool, they were replaced by a totally different kind of queen in StarCraft 2. The final conduit lies before us. 
show the Zerg no mercy. Oh, there's a lot of Zerg in front of us. But they cannot stop us with this kind of arm. Well, actually... May... Uh, no, no, they can't stop us. We're good, we're good. It's fine. Everything will be fine. We move unseen. And then we'll have established a beachhead, as the mission description put it. And we can really inv- Oh, God. Your fate is Impossible. Hybrid on ire. It is they who have been leading the Zerg. How? But with Kerrigan in charge of the Zerg, they shouldn't be under Amon's influence. Is there gonna be a Zerg civil war now? Are some of the Zerg controlled by Amon and some by Kerrigan? That would be quite interesting. Alright, destroy the destroy the conduit. The warp conduits have been secured. Mm -hmm. Our star or, no, we're, are we're trying to take this fight across the surface. Take command of the invasion, Executor. Zeratul, you and I must discuss this most recent turn of events further. Yes! Because this just goes to prove that we were right and that Amon is actually the big threat. So, uh, let's look at our objectives here. For Ire, we completed it. Okay. Killed 120 units with Colossi. That's not hard. A move and win. Lose fewer than 100 units. Did not do that. Okay, so apparently I could have played a lot better. But, uh, that would have been difficult. Of course, always playing with skill is more difficult than not playing with skill. I wonder how I could have microed that better. I'm, I'm probably going to go back and get all the achievements. I don't know that anybody really wants to see me do that. Um, but I will have to think about how I'm going to do that one. Probably by keeping the zealots at the front of the it army. Seems the end war you warned of has begun. Tell me, old friend, what is it you have learned? I have witnessed the end of all things. Horrific legions of hybrid, raising world upon world. In the darkness, lording over them a shadowy form. Amon. The Overmind told us. You spoke of a way to stand against him. This mm -hmm. vision was a benevolent one, as if an ancient voice called out from beyond. The Keystone shall usher you unto hope. Keystone? I saw a burst of light revealing the Zelnaga artifact on the Terran world of Korhal. It is the Keystone of this vision. The prophecies speak of Zelnaga standing against Amon in the end times. I believe this keystone will guide us to them. I have always trusted you, Zeratul, but the burdens of leadership demanded much of me. There are times I am uncertain whether I was truly ready for such weight. Good. Your doubt is unfounded, young Artanis. You must embrace what you have become if you are to be the leader we now need. You will go to James Raynor on Core Hall and receive this keystone. I will marshal our forces for the war ahead. When you return, the Templar will be ready. Entaro Tassadar, old friend. Antaro Artanis, brother. Thank you, Tassadar. Finally. Okay. Zeratul, you must secure the Zelnaga Keystone from James Raynor. My forces will reactivate the Spear of a Dune, a warship that will be invaluable in the battles ahead. May Tassadar's shadow hide you, my friend. Oh, so it looks like we'll be playing as Zeratul in the next mission. Uh, that will be pretty interesting. I thought we were just going to play as Artanis the whole way through, but maybe we'll do a little bit of viewpoint swapping. At any rate, we'll have to see in the next episode, because for right now we're all out of time, but I'm really excited to get right into the next one, and I hope you'll all join me. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Oh, look! Am I repeatedly spam clicking everything? I get monkeys.
And I'm pretty sure that there's a monster back there. Oh, he's right there! Oh god, I ran the wrong way! I ran the wrong way! Oh, I'm gonna die, so I know. <laughs> oh.